Hello everyone, this is a repair of a megaphone that's not working. Megaphones are used all around the world for protests or for telling people to get out of water or for many other applications. There are about three steps to repair this. First I'll be checking the batteries, then I'll be checking the battery's direction, and later we'll be opening the device and seeing what's wrong. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the megaphone's getting uh, the voltage. This is a 12 volt DC uh, megaphone and measuring all the batteries uh, should be around 1.5 volts. Now I noticed that uh, you have to put them in the right way. You can see there's a positive and negative at the bottom there. So you have to look at your batteries and make sure that they're going in the right way. Um, so they will alternate. So in this case they're going up and then down and then up and then they, and down based on the polarity of each of those. This type uh, uses eight batteries and it would uh, be a total of 12 volts so we'll just push it down here and clip it on now if I switch on the uh, siren button it should have sound but it doesn't or if I speak into the megaphone it's not working so still doesn't work we have the right orientation of batteries and the batteries are good we need to unscrew this and uh, check out the actual circuitry inside now um, a common repair of uh, amplifier circuitries like this would be the either the tr um, the MOSFETs there at the end or the be capacitors. So when, when I took this apart, I looked at the board and I saw a capacitor right at the top that had a little bulge on it. So I took that out and it was a 100 microfarad 16 volt uh, capacitor. And you can see the bulge there. And I have a capacitor tester and it was me wasn't measuring the correct uh, microfarads, so I swapped this uh, capacitor out, and uh, then I double checked to see if this was the issue. I took out the other capacitors as well to double check them, but if they have the top, it's not bulging. They're probably okay. So you actually don't need to have a capacitor tester. Just replace all the capacitors that um, have a bulge at the top. Other thing that I wanted to do was just to solder up a couple of the joints at the amplifier uh, MOSFETs at the bottom. So it could also be a, a connection issue. So I'll just uh, be re-soldering these joints at the bottom of the circuit uh, board there. This will just make, it, uh, make sure that there's no cracks in the connection and we'll be seeing if this fixes our issue be seen if this fixes our issue. Testing, testing, one, two, three. That was the issue is a bad capacitor and, and that's why it, the amplifier was not working at all. So I'm just going to be putting everything back together and uh, then this should be a good repair. Just putting in the circuitry it goes down on a little angle and then it has a little screw at the very bottom that you need to connect. With those uh, that screw back in, then you'll just put in the batteries in the correct um, orientation. Double check in the polarity signs on the bottom. Put them down on the case and uh, making sure everything is fastened down. Now this one also, if you put the uh, alarm button, the siren button, and it's not working, it could just be a bad connection on the batteries. So here we go, here's the speaker. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Testing, one, two, three, testing. This by pushing the little button or the button testing, on one, the Testing, one, two, three, testing. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Or flipping on the siren button, you can hear it turn on there. Okay, so if you enjoy repair videos and you're interested in saving money, you can like this video and get more re repair videos by subscribing.